What was that like audition process like for Doctor Strange? It was funny, actually. Really? Yeah. Because... That's not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I find a lot of things funny. <laughs> so I had gotten an audition for it. I don't know. I'm going a, I'm to a just say that. I got an audition for it. And I the sides were for someone who was like 17, 18. My 13-year-old booty was like, uh, this isn't, I don't know how I'm going to oh, get wow. this. You know, I, this is not, not, not it for me here, but I'll try. And so I did my audition and then I sent it out and I didn't get anything back for a couple months. I was like, okay. Was it, it was just like a tape. Yeah, it was a tape. And I like sent like, cause for my tapes, I usually send like two different reads. So I do like one that's like one version and then another one that's like completely opposite. So I was like within that, I'll have something like I'll get something back, (laughs) you know? Um, but I did take in the fact that it was, like originally for a 17, 18 year old character. And I was like, okay, I'm yeah. not that. So, um, yeah, I didn't hear anything for a couple months. And then, uh, a couple months later, like, I don't know, four or five months later, maybe wow. even more than that. Um, I got another audition for it and huh. I was like, Oh wait, but now she's like 14. <laughs> and I was like, I could do that. And so the scene was a little different, but same kind of thing. Oh, they read, they wrote her character younger. Yeah. They wrote her character younger. Oh. And I was like, okay, I could possibly do this. And then I was looking at the sides and then there was like words like sorcerer and like, there's like a joke about like Taco Bell Supremes and stuff like that. And I was like, I think, I think this is for Dr. Strange too. And so then I looked into it a bit more and I was like, what character could this be? And so I like tried my hardest to find a character, like a character that would fit in this world. And um, cause I was already a fan of Marvel. So I kind mm. of like yeah. picked up the puzzle pieces and I was like, oh, this is America Chavez. Like this could possibly be America Chavez. Wow, mm. you put that together. Yeah. And so with kind of just the characteristics of America, I planted those into my scene. You know, kind of did exactly what I did before in mm-hmm. the tape that I had sent, but ch- also chose different like elements that fit America a bit more. Yeah. So things that were a bit more like sassy, certain lines were said like a bit more like rough than I did originally. Yeah. And um, and then I sent that, and then I got told that I was like pinned. I was like, what? <laughs> Mwah! <laughs> <laughs> and so then I got a friend of mine who did like stunt stuff I worked with him because I was like okay if I'm pinned there's a possible chance that I could go for like a you know audition like yeah in person and stuff and they might like ask me how well I can do stunts and like all that yeah oh wow and thing is I do martial arts did I was gonna ask did you before yes yeah I started doing martial arts when I was in babysitter's club like right before that I started doing martial arts wow and my mom put me in that because she was like you could possibly go out for like superhero stuff, like action films. Like I want you to know what you're doing. And I was like, I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to be in an action film. I'm, do you see me? I'm not a superhero. <laughs> and I was just like, I co- co- like constantly like had negative feedback on it, which looking back at it now, I probably shouldn't have. Um, and I went, she kind of forced me at first. And then I like grew a great friendship with the people there. Um, but yeah, I went to a stunt guy and we did some like boxing, we did some training and we did some of that for like a solid like week and a half of just like intense training yeah. every single day. Whoa. And um, and that was great hmm. because then I got told that I was going to go to England for the like audition, like the what is it called? The in-person audition? Oh, okay. The final, the final the final one, the test audition. Was it just, do you know, was it just you at the time? Or No, was there it? was a few other girls because okay. I saw them <laughs> on the plane. Oh, fun. <laughs> yeah, that was so awkward. awkward. I'm going to tell you, that was like, that is one of the <laughs> most awkward things is when you see other people yeah. there. Yeah. And you're like not familiar with each other, but like your acquaintances because you constantly see each other at the yeah. same yeah, thing. Yeah, you're going like, the same thing. <laughs> Uh, good to see you yeah. good luck yeah <laughs> literally but the thing is you have to say good luck because you just don't know who it's gonna go to you know and you i at least i want to be really nice to each other because i'm yeah. like yeah i don't ever want to be on a person's bad side and i think it's always best to just say good luck yeah um but yeah i did my audition uh benedict was there we were oh, in really? the sanctum sanct 
Torum, I think is what it's called. Why am I forgetting how it's called? But yeah, but that's what I think it was. Like it was like a chemistry read. It was a chemistry read. And I did my whole audition with a pizza slice. I like ate it and I like threw it down. And I remember for my second, we had like done the first go and they were like, that was great. Could you do it like one more, blah, blah, blah. They gave me an adjustment and I did that. And I remember I had like completely kind of messed up one of the lines and I was like freaking out in my, in my inside. Like I was just like, <sighs> and I was like, I already said that. And I, so I like <laughs> s- repeated my line and I was like, made it like kind of Benedict's problem. I was like, made I already said it. Problem. Like <laughs> I already said that. Why are you making me repeat my stuff? <laughs> Fine. I'll repeat it for you because you're slow. And so I like did all this stuff and I like kind of like <laughs> improved it because I was like, e, I messed this up so bad. <laughs> Find a way to like figure it out. Um, and then I like it just went really well. And um, did you have to wait a while to hear after that? Well, then here's the thing, because after the audition, you have to do your stunt like evaluation. Oh. That's oh, what they, they called did it. Do, they did do. A yes, stunt thing. they did. Wow. And thing is, because it was all like scheduled the girl before me ha- would was supposed to do her audition and i was in the trailer and then when she goes to the stunt evaluation i go into my audition mm. and by the time i was getting out of my audition she was only just then getting out of her stunt evaluation mm. so i knew that she was probably in there it was in there for like 30 40 minutes uh-huh. bro i went in there and they was like they were literally like okay can you like walk that way and walk back and then i wanted to see you do some jogging and like that was it that was it they like made me like kick a thing at the very bottom and i was like i didn't get it right that's where i literally i literally sat down in the car on the way back and i was like i don't think i got it yeah because why wouldn't they because why wouldn't they like ask me to do like a whole evaluation why wouldn't they want to see me like do stuff yeah Yeah. if they didn't think that i was an actual option Yeah. yeah you know i freaked out yeah. And thing is, it was also the pandemic during that. So I had to, that was a other thing. I had to stay in a hotel room in London for a whole week. You had to quarantine before, before yeah, the audition. Yeah, before the audition. <gasps> wow. And so then I got back to my hotel. I have to wait a couple more days. And then I come back home. Oof. And I'm all just like, oh, it's a great experience. You know, you got to be thankful. It's, it's a learning all the lesson. <laughs> I'll take it to the next one. Yeah. And then I get home and I'm also like, I don't know, I don't think I got it. My my agent's like, okay, let's get on a Zoom. I want to like talk to you about a few things. And then she pulls up the phone and Sarah Finn's on the phone and she goes, hey, Sochi. And I was like, fuck, why is Sarah Finn on the phone? I was like, I swear if they tell me that I just got the role, I'm going to be so serious. Like, please. <laughs> <laughs> and Sarah Finn was like, hey, Sochi, I just want to say thank you so much for auditioning. It was so much fun. And I was like, yeah, I did not get it. <laughs> and then she was like, yeah, I just want to say, you know, welcome to the Marvel family. You are America Chavez. Oh, wow. And I was like, I just got chills you saying that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, she was like super nice. Like, again, this is like on the phone, on a Zoom call. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> and like my voice like cracked. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and it did not like settle into my brain for a couple of days. Because it was just like, what does this even mean? Yeah. You know, and then, of course, there's like the negotiations and all that that have to go on. And so even though you get told on the phone, like, yeah, you know, you're America Chavez. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You the lawyers still got to work it out, you know, because <laughs> yeah. at the time I was on Babysitter's Club and I was set to do the second season. Oh, mm. to figure out timing and everything. Yeah. And I ended up not being able to do the second season of Babysitter's Club. And um, luckily it all worked out, but it was a really hard time for me. Just because my whole future was basically in the hands of a bunch of dudes in suits, you know? Yeah. And they're planning out what it's going to be like and my future with Marvel and my future with Netflix and all that. And it was just like, I was sitting there. I was like, I can't do anything. Yeah. You know, they're just going to figure it out, I guess. Yeah. That's crazy. Did you ever either like before filming or during filming feel an insane amount of pressure being like uh, you know i'm america chavez in you know a multi-hundred million dollar movie and acting opposite benedict cumberbatch like was that ever terrifying to you or no it was exciting it was exciting i mean to me i always feel like 
I shouldn't ever feel terrified if I already have all the things in place. Like for me, planning and knowing my stuff is the most important thing. And so like I had notes upon notes about America. I had all this stuff. And the thing is, that was great for me, but it's, it was also like hard too because I have all my notes and how I picture America, you know, and sometimes that doesn't fit to yeah. like a different thing that gets written, you know, a script that we had originally gotten then gets rewritten and there's a bunch of like script changes and I'm like, okay, here's what I think America is and how I've pictured her just from the comics and then from the script and like, yeah, this is how I view her. And then it doesn't match with the new script that was given, you know? So yeah. it was hard, you know, having to let go of the person that I had created, especially in that, you know, test audition. Cause that was how I pictured America was. I was like, that's who I think she is. You know, that's her soul. That's her, yeah. that's her spirit. And yeah. so having to warp that and change that and have to go into the mindset of like, this character is not there yet. She will be, but in the future, you know, we have, we don't get to see that yet. And so yeah. working that was hard and just like weird. Yeah. And that was probably the one time that I felt pressure because yeah. then I realized, okay, this is my face, you know, yeah, on the screen and I'm having to like portray a character before she is the character that people know her to be. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. people only saw America when she was like 18, you know, yeah. in the comics. Yeah. And so I was pay, like portraying a 13 year old version of the person that they know yeah. and love. Yeah, that's true. That process is just like so crazy. Like I just love hearing all of it because I've never done that in my life and don't <laughs> know the half of that. Yeah. yeah. But it's just like it's so different from like I feel like every time it's like so different. And also like the things that people say like them only like like having you do like the kick or like the walk and you're like, I didn't get it. But then there's also times when you're like, oh, I got it. Or then yeah, you like don't in hear. The, in and the then audition room, like I was like, Psh, guys, I got this Yeah. in the bag. Two seconds later, like very easily humbled. No. I was like, uh-uh. It's the, it's the worst audition processes. Like you just, you never know. You never know. That's the thing. You truly never know. Because sometimes you have experiences where like, you truly believe you knocked it out of the park and you're yeah. like, there's no way I'm not going to get this. Yeah. And you don't. And yeah. then you have times where you go in and you read once and they're like, thanks for coming. And you walk out and they're like, okay, so they hated me. Yeah. And then you get a call and they're like, you got it. You're like, what? I, you just it's... don't know. It's almost like they want to mess with you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> it's chill. 